right, so I figured um, I would do a very quick video here showing this 2022 Witch's Diary a little bit closer since I've had some time now to go through it. Um, I'm really happy with it. Like I, I'm, I was kind of getting sick of those other ones, the Llewellyn date books. Yeah, I was getting sick of those. So, um, let's get on with this. I know my video earlier was a bit goofy, wasn't it? <laughs> it's exciting to go back out and go shopping and having fun and stuff like that. It's, you know, I like to be out and about and doing things. Awaken the Witch Within. Does your heart feel the pull of nature and do you hear the whispers of the ancestors on the breeze? Do you bask in the power of the sun and the moon, welcome the cycles of the seasons and yearn for a deep connection with the earth? Witches have been around since the beginning of time, harnessing magic and connecting with higher powers. They were the wise ones of the village and used their knowledge of nature to heal the sick and restore balance to the world around them. This practical guide will show you how to harness the magic of nature, reclaim your personal power through discovery of ancient wisdom and embrace the feminine divine. You will journey through the year, learning to work with the forces of nature through spell work, incantations, Rituals, sigils, age-old recipes, and charms that use herbs, candles, and crystals. Sorry about the glare there. <laughs> and there we go here. Now, if you want to see good book reviews, I suggest going to... Um, I'll leave a link down below for a book and journal and... Uh, tarot decks, oracle decks, all that. I'll leave her link down below. She's a very good friend of mine. Pioneers of the craft. The Witch's Diary honors all those who have given their lives to the craft. They are the founders, wisdom keepers, elders, and leaders who have gone before us, who have ensured that we today hold the sacred knowledge of the ancients despite the gruesome punishments many faced and still face today in mainstream society and particular cultures for their beliefs. Yeah, let us remember those seen and unseen, known and unknown, and give our undying gratitude to all those who have shown the light of magic through the darkness. Today, we witches stand side by side, strong in our beliefs, whilst the ancestors walk beside us, and we are proud to call ourselves witches of the craft. So know to be. And then you got an introduction here, hail and welcome. Of course, I'm not going to read the whole book to everybody. <laughs> And here we have the moon phases. Of course we know all this, but we can always use a reminder, and especially when we're taking notes, writing down things, you can easily now look it up. Uh, we got the lunar and solar eclipses. Full moons. The wheel of the year. Tuesdays is a very lucky day for me. Magical moon times to cast spells.
And then we come here with the months into the new year, January. So it's not a very thorough look, but it gives you enough if you like it. And then you got plenty of time to go ahead. Oh, this is a great recipe right here. Witchy recipe. <clears throat> <clears throat> hair tonic for the loss of hair, baldness, healthy scalp. Take four stalks of fresh rosemary, strip the leaves off, and chop up finely. Fill a saucepan with three cups of spring and filtered water. Add the rosemary, cover with a lid, and boil for 30 minutes. Steep for 30 minutes, then strain the mixture. Add this to your three cups of homemade apple cider. See September's recipe on page 101. And shake label the hair tonic oh, that's a wonderful recipe i have used rosemary for my hair and it does turn out really nice and then we got february some witchy, witchy tips I still need to get a calendar too and I think I'm gonna get a different calendar this year than what I was getting Oh, beauty spell I have a fantastic beauty spell. Well, I have several actually but I have I have a really good one I should share some time okay so <laughs> I'm having trouble here I think you kind of get the idea. Let me see. A lot of good kitchen witchery, witchery tips. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there. That's what I'm looking for right here. October is the month where we witness the death of nature as leaves continue to fall in the northern hemisphere. We enjoy the vibrant cover, colors of the season and abundance of squashes and darker nights. Now that the harvest is in and celebrated at Maybon, it's a time to prepare fruit, jam, preserves, and tinctures for colds and flu. Using ingredients collected from the earth, trees, and hedgerows earlier, such as rose hips, apples, and berries, the crone who reigns over the harsher months is cold, callous, and now beckons you with a bony finger to witness the death of nature and all that will assist you moving forward. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a better look at it. So, uh that's it for me. Um I'll see you guys when I see you next and uh, I got a lot of sorting to do around here. And uh I'm out.